This is Matthew Donald to let you know that I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash Matthew Donald. There you can find bonus content for my shows, The Rit Wit and Paleo Bites. Buy two shows, bonus content for both of them. This month we're talking about Zero Ranger. Zero Ranger. Do you not know what Zero Ranger is? It's what Power Rangers came from. All the stock footage of the fights came from Zero Ranger. Zero Ranger. You should check it out. Link is in the description. Thank you for your support. And have a wonderful day! (coughs) I'm so sorry. Roar, growl, snarl, bellow. Welcome to Paleo Bites, the podcast that gift raptors you content every week. It's not very good. <laughs> I play it that. I, I tried, man. Anyways, my name's Matthew Donald. Each week, I'm a rotating series of guest goes talk about and rate a genus of prehistoric animal, be it dinosaur, mammal, arthropod, and so on. This week. I'm joined by someone who I just had a very extensive conversation with about certain things that we'll say for some other time. <laughs> that sounds really bad. <laughs> okay. All right. It was about penises, We guys. were talking about appendages on animals. That is a normal conversation. Hi, I'm Lexi Ryan. It's Lexi Ryan. Hello. <laughs> so, a certain appendage on a certain gender or sex of animals. Yeah, we were talking about penises on about, animals. About, you know, it's a thing. About wangs. About... When you talk about the things we talk about dinosaurs, eventually it's going to come up. I yeah. mean, last time we... Again, had... most dinosaurs, I, again, we don't know, but well, I'm assuming think, they have a cloaca. Frankly, you brought this up and this is where the conversation started when you made a scientific point the last episode yes. we recorded and you said how scientists don't know how the stegosaurus had intercourse. We don't. And that's how we got on this tangent. So, nice. you know, well, get your mind out of the gutter. We were having a science discussion. It was very extensive science yes. discussion. Ugh, it, you know, it's kind of... <laughs> I feel like my sense of oh my humor God, has gotten I have the dirtier. Qu- I have a question. Buddy. Yes. I have the question. Oh, uh, you have a question. The dinosaur question. All right, yes. Ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Okay. I'm scared. It's on theme for the opening topic. Okay. If you could be the appendage of one of the dinosaurs, which dinosaurs would you be? Well, frankly, none of them, because we don't think that they have... Some of them we don't think have penises. Okay, well, I'm just saying, like, I... There is a phrase these days, and it's about a certain energy you bring to the table, and I want to keep it a little PG. I don't know if... It's PG-13 saying, is okay? I, I, yeah. Is PG-13 okay? PG-13 is okay. Okay, because it's, it's lo- big dick energy is the yeah, phrase. Yes. PG-13. Yeah. Again, hi, T-Rex, mom. <laughs> T-Rex... He's bringing that energy, and like that's the dinosaur. That's, that's who's, true. Who's like, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with him. <laughs> so wait, are you saying which of these dinosaurs would, would you I be, have the big? Di- would, no, which one would you be the the dick of? <laughs> so the dinosaur is the dinosaur. I'm just a sentient dick. That's yes. Just, okay. And to me, I want to bring that BD energy. Okay. <laughs> like uh, that's what it's about. You know, you gotta bring. Uh, I'm gonna be. If a... you're a T Rex's dick, you are made. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm going to be a Stegosaurus dick for the mystery. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. That's well, also that's very um writer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm a writer. I know. Uh, also, like, <laughs> this is not the the right term for it. I apologize for anything. I'm a recovering asexual. <laughs> 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 Recovering. Uh, I thought that. it was asexual for the longest time. You know, turns out it was my it was man. my medication. Yeah. I changed the medication. My sex drive is way up. <laughs> <laughs> not way up. Like I'm not like like, like a dinosaur. Yeah. Like, like much like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I don't know if that's accurate, but they're bringing that. I, mean, I feel like a T Rex just because it's T Rex is a very violent lover. That's you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even more. I mean, I, that's totally not my style. But yeah. at the same time, I mean, for a, a as a dinosaur, like that would be beautiful. Honestly, yeah. I mean, like it's Tyrannosaurus Rex, so like, oh. so, <laughs> like it Rex when it goes. Up. Yeah. So that's that's who I'd be. That's that's the penis I would be. If it had a penis. If I, if I was a penis, and it had a penis. Wait, which it might it might have just twid, had a cloaca. Twould be me. Yes. All right, cool. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Yes. I would, uh, okay, maybe instead of 
Uh, you can be the penis of the T-Rex. I am going to be... The Stegosaurus is good. Yeah, but no, I, I was just saying I'm going to be the boobs of something. <laughs> if we're going to go... Oh, damn. Yeah. Did dinos have titties? No, they didn't because they're <laughs> it, it, mammaries because they're not mammals. They don't Do have mammaries. they have, have like, pecs? Because, again, a, like, like the last rec- recording we did of the giant sloth, yeah. did it have... It would have had. Did, did it would have Brex? Yeah, Brex. Brex. No, Brex. Like, it would have Brex. <laughs> it would have Brex. Brexit. Guys. Yes. Brex. <laughs> no, like it would have. It would have. Yes. That's crazy. So, well, it was a mammal, so. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, my cat's a mammal, but it doesn't have titties. Well, what is it like? They say in Meet the Parents, you can have any. You can milk anything with yeah, nipples. Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't mean it has <laughs> boobies. Well, if you're, I mean, like most of those animals. Are, I, okay, picture a T Rex right now in your mind. I'm not okay. I, I don't want to picture T Rex with boobs. No, <laughs> and, the, and not picture it with boobs. <laughs> where would they go? Would That's they be in front minor, of the minor, arms? Minor by the arms, and they are scaled. In case you were wondering if there were like human boobs, I was picturing it with like boobs that matched it. Okay, you know? so just like so they're like triple Z boobs. They're like oh oh, they're huge in size and they are scaled. Like okay. I, I meant scaled as in like literally like. Scaled. Oh, oh, scaled as in they're covered in. They're to, they're to scale. They're not just a tiny bit of boobs. <laughs> they're just Don't tiny worry. human boobs. They're actually the size of. T- <laughs> That's even funnier. <laughs> imagine a T Rex. Now imagine it with human sized boobs. Where would they be? <laughs> like, oh, even uh, like under a the G armpit cup would be hidden. way too little. For, even hidden. Yeah. That's great. You know, T Rex arms are about the size of human arms. Yeah. So. Are, oh, that's is that actually true? Yes. That is so freaking weird. <laughs> like they just had a much bigger body. There's actually a whole trope on TV tropes called non-mammal mammaries. <laughs> like, Very odd. Well, speaking of weird appendages, though, the picture of the thing we're going to talk about. Yes. That the rendering of it's it. It's called Yi or E. <laughs> Uh, e or E. In, uh, in, in traditional e? Mandarin, it's E. E. Okay. But like that doesn't sound. That that sounds like I'm just making a noise. E. <laughs> I mean E, right? Is that is that how you would say it? Yeah, I'm just gonna say E. I'm gonna anglicize it like a dumb American. I okay. Am. Okay. I'm gonna say E. I'm gonna stick with E. All right. Okay. Fine. If you're gonna say E, then yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be woke. All right. Well, yeah. it's good to be woke. If <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Like anyone who complains about woke is, well, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> is asleep. All right. Yes. See, we're yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> so, e- exactly. Yeah. Anyways, ye means or e means strange wing. Well, not just e. It, the the full name e chi means strange e-chi. wing. Yes. Okay. Uh, type it is a scansos. Oh God, scansorioterigid theropod, which is a group oh, of. Oh boy. It's a group of arboreal dinosaurs. You know what arboreal means? No, I don't. It means tree climbing. Or tree living. Like a sloth? Yes. Uh, arboreal dinosaurs in the Manoraptoran clade, which also includes dromaeosaurs, which are raptors, therizinosaurs, which we'll get to, and modern day birds. Okay. Um, size 10 to 12 inches, slash 26 to 33 centimeter wingspan, 13 to 14 ounces, or 370 to 400 grams. Uh, diet carnivore. Like, how many pounds would it weigh? <laughs> oh, 13 to 14 ounces. So 13 to 14 ounces? Yes, is what it I said. It wouldn't even weigh. It wouldn't even. Wow, this thing is like real tiny. Well, you know my um, my cockatiel, you know who's like uh, maybe she's like six inches long. She's like three ounces. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just because they're so light. My cat is fourteen pounds. Uh, I think I've talked about this in the show before. Mammals are so much denser than dinosaurs. Interesting. Like that's actually one of the reasons why dinosaurs were able to get so big, because like. Because yeah. yeah, is it true their bones are hollow? Yeah. Well, that's how birds can fly. Like, there's, there's like, no... Ma- you know how, like, you crack, I mean, they're not, like, you crack open a chicken bone, and there's, like, marrow in there. Well, I don't know if they're, like, completely hollow. Well, like, wait, yeah, because... Like, they, they have, like, pocket, like, cavities. Like, 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 a teeth, but not, you know... Are chickens... Do chickens have the same kind of bones? Yeah. Because chickens have stuff in the bones. No, no, it's not like... It's not like it's, like... A Lego piece. It's not like a dense... <laughs> well, I suppose if you look at, like... I know we just talked about food, and I've eaten a lot of weird stuff, and, like, when you eat bone marrow and you get it in the bone, it's, like, thick, and it takes up the whole thing, and it's very thick, and just, like... Versus a chicken bone or a, a bird bone, which I think you're right, is, like, porous, even? Yeah, it's, like, it's like it got, like, holes in yeah, it. Yeah, like. like a sponge. Yeah, yeah, that's how okay. it is. Like that, and that's, yeah, like, so, so... okay. Like, yeah, like, T-Rex was, uh, you know, 20... Around 20 feet tall, around 40 feet long... Weighed about as much as a, an elephant, which is far smaller. That is not so. Yeah, okay. like like he, wow. am, mammals are dense. That's so, crazy. Okay, like, like, so this thing it is the maybe the size of my cat. Uh, yeah, probably the size, but definitely not, lighter. But like w- oh, that's nuts. Yeah, 
It, this was a carnivore like a cat. <laughs> Time, late Jurassic, 160 to 159 million years ago. Location, China. Uh, I would make a bad joke about how bat-like this thing is, and but it's from Ow, China. Oh, too soon. Yeah, like, uh... <laughs> uh <laughs> joke aborted. Anyways, <laughs> des <laughs> described in 2015 pop culture appearances, an episode of Dinosaur Train featured one, and I wrote a e an E character in... Uh, I wrote a E character. That's hard to say. That's what I want to say, ye. <laughs> I wrote an do, do E you? character in my third Megazoic book, The Hunted Ones. I feel like you sh from now on you should well yeah it's so hard because it's already a finished series but definitely plug every single pop culture you can with your stuff that'll be great oh no time. I do so yeah, that's great yeah like, <laughs> like all the like or if it not in pop culture appearances I do at the end if I say there's a one mm. like sometimes I say it there um, anyways uh, but that those two seem to be it so far this one episode of Dinosaur Train and then my book but give it time though mm -hmm. this thing's weird enough that's bound to get more attention um, yeah. So it's no secret anymore that birds are not only direct descendants of dinosaurs, but are still classified as dinosaurs themselves. Uh, to the point where, when talking about the big mass extinction from that asteroid, we have to specify that killed not all the dinosaurs, it killed all the non-avian dinosaurs. Okay. So, but the weird thing is, it appears that dinosaurs really wanted to fly, even before they evolved into birds. Like, there's, there's like several attempts of them like becoming flyers, and this is one of them, enter E. Its full scientific name is E. Chi, but that's Y I Q I is how it's spelled. Uh, so us dumb Americans pronounce it Yi Qui or Yi Qi. Okay. <laughs> um, but funny thing is, not only is Yi the shortest genus name of any dinosaur at only two letters, mm -hmm. uh, its full binomial name Yi Chi at four letters is the shortest possible allowed. <laughs> According to the International Code weird. of Zoological Nomenclature, weird. like what Articles weird rule. eleven point eight point one and eleven point nine point one. Weird rule. Yeah, <laughs> I'm assuming like I was thinking they should get a lawyer to look at this and see if there's yeah, like I mean, a loophole. Yeah, because it's in a different language, so. Well, like, I'm just saying like you could have a loophole so we can give a dinosaur the name X, just one letter. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> or Z. As long as it was a cool dinosaur. Well, it's like yeah, like Z. Maybe maybe if it's like four letters, but it doesn't it doesn't have to all be two and two. It could be one and three. So instead of and you could have like an, a Z Rex. Yeah, that be see that'd be cool. You got T Rex, but I you got Z Rex. I would want to know about that. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't expect law and lawyers to ever be brought up on this show, but here we are. <laughs> ba bum dum 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 dum. <laughs> People who know law and lawyers will understand law that. Law and that's, order, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was, was it like just dun dun or something? That's the in between scene. That's the what I just did is like the beginning oh. song and then in between scenes it'll yeah. be like bum bum. Yeah, like super <laughs> bum, dramatic. Bum. Yeah. <laughs> dum dum. Yeah. Uh, Yee is notable in that not only just for its super short name, but because of its elongated third finger that supported a membranous gliding flap of skin around its other fingers. Creepy. Like, similar to that of, of a bat, or of a little dragon. Um, this is unlike any other dinosaur found in the fossil record. Although now we think other scansorioterygids, its family, might have had similar features. So, wait, could it fly? We think it could. Okay, because earlier you said something about an attempt. This was, a, a, so like, like, I guess attempt, I mean, like, it was its attempt to become the dominant flying got creature. Got okay. Like, Cause like I'll get to here. I was like, were there any dinosaurs that had wings that like didn't fly? Like a chicken? Like chickens can't fly, really. Yeah, well, I mean, modern di flightless bird, the penguin. <laughs> well, yeah, but were there any dinosaurs like that? Uh, yeah. Well, like the raptors. There were some raptors. Did they that have wings? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Velociraptor. Did we cover is... that in our raptor episode? I think we did. Did okay. Well, it's equally as shocking to me now. Okay, Ugh. Velociraptor was too big, but there were some raptors in that family that were how small enough that sad. could fly. You know what? I'm, it makes me think about yeah. If you're familiar with a bug's life, when yes. the guy gets his wings and he's like, "I am a beautiful butterfly," <laughs> but he can't fly anywhere because he's too big. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I remember that. Raptors, that except was... for raptors, are much scarier than that cute little guy. <laughs> <laughs> This was a little dragon thing that glided or maybe even flew. Uh, yeah, we think it did fly, though. What's even crazier is that this group is only distantly related to the dinosaurs that did evolve into birds. This wasn't an ancestor with them or anything. This was just another flying dinosaur. <laughs> Again, they tried multiple Wait, times. Wait, so they were straight up separate? Like, yeah. they evolved separately? Yes. I mean, again, they were related, but not, like, directly yeah. related. It just, yeah. Like, so, I, I guess, my question there is, like, were they in different environments to make them start to evolve in different like 
different parts of the world, so they evolved subtly differently. Yeah, they... well, like, um, this one, like, again, flew with, like, its wing, like, its skin flap of its wings. Uh, other ones, like, like <laughs> its feathers, you know, and having specialized wing feathers and, like, the things. And feathers evolve first before flying, so then they just have to be really good at helping with flying. Okay. So, um, but, yeah, so this evolved first. And one of the things that we think it did, why, is because this was arboreal, it used it mainly to go from tree to tree. It wasn't a long distance Right, it flyer. wasn't, yeah. So, okay. Uh, was that because of, it, literally, it couldn't do something like that? Or it, was it just like, it, I don't need to, it's just... I'm assuming it just to. didn't need to. Yeah. It's like, I mean, I'm assuming it could, but it probably wasn't built for it, so it get tired real fast. I don't know. Imagine the weird alternate universe that we could have lived in, where rather than birds, you know, evolving from this, they evolved from, the, from this thing, and so birds all look like little dragon bat things instead. That'd be friggin' awesome. Yeah. Then I would have one. Yes. Yes, then you'd have a little... Like Hungarian, no, not Hungarian hotel. What's the one that Norbit was at first? I mean, I guess Nor Norwegian witchback. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah, Hungarian hornetail is the worst. Yeah, that's the one that like threatens Harry in the Goblet Maybe of Fire. <laughs> Chinese fireball. Ooh. That's how, that's how he says it in the movie. <laughs> that's what this would be because uh, this is from China. So. Yeah, exactly. So, anyway, uh, Swedish short snout. No. <laughs> uh, so. One of the reasons why this didn't happen, though, why birds didn't evolve from this, is because while they could fly, they weren't particularly great at it, like, and they lived in thick forests and jungles where they just had to fly from tree to tree rather than doing anything long distance. This kept them fairly niche. And keep in mind that pterosaurs, or pterodactyls, if you want to be, you know, casual about it, <laughs> like, right. were already the dominant flying Most creature. of us are yes. casual about, about <laughs> yes. the dinosaurs. Yeah. Yes. They were the, already the dominant flying vertebrates at the time, so they had severe competition. Um, although it's funny, birds... Like, when once they came in, the Skens... Skens... Oh, God. Skens Soriotergids, the family was in, they were outcompeted to extinction by the birds. So, uh, funny thing, though, is that birds and pterosaurs coexisted for nearly 70 million years. <laughs> so... Interesting. As, like, cousins? Well, just as, like, fl fellow flying animals. No, but kind of like birds and cousins. bats today. To an extent. To, to, a, to a simpleton like me, trying to understand dinosaurs... Look, would cousin be an incorrect term? It's very, very distant cousin, but technically... So, like, they could get married. I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> like, even, like, even in, like, I mean... I mean, obviously... Okay. I mean, I don't okay, know. I know then you get into, like, that weird that bestiality thing. I don't know. No, no, no. Because technically, are, are them getting beasts. married... They're both animals. So. Like, anyone we Wait, could get married to would keep up. less married. Is bestiality two different races... Bonin or a human and a race bonin? You're right. I apologize. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I just want to make sure I understood bestiality. Because yeah. otherwise, if it's like a cat and dog, is that bestiality? <laughs> you know, like... It's just a confused cat. <laughs> like... Yeah. But anyway, okay. Yeah. Well, so I was just so, saying so that, they're, like, they're distant cousins. Well, again, again, they're so distant that like anyone we, you know, marry is more related to us than yeah, they would okay. be to each other. Because well, I thought they're, they were, the they were flying-ish. They were around the same time. Pterosaurs are... Okay, so the the super order of reptiles. There's a super order of reptiles called archosaurs. It sounds like the most elite organization. There's a super order of reptiles. <laughs> it does sound like yeah. that. <laughs> this taxonomy can sound really yeah. cool, but <laughs> so the the um, the super order of, of, of them is as archosaurs, and this includes three major groups. It includes the dinosaurs and subsequently the birds. Um, it includes the pterosaurs, which is like the pterodactyls, right? And includes the crocodiles. Okay. So. That's why, like, people, like, when people look at a crocodile, like, that's a living dinosaur, they're not far off. Like, Interesting. It is, it is more closely related to a dinosaur than, like, a lizard or a snake is. So, birds and pterosaurs coexisted for nearly 70 million years, meaning as long as they occupied different ecological niches, the two families could coexist. Similar to the modern day, birds are the diurnal flyers, while bats are the nocturnal flyers. Although there are exceptions in both cases, like owls and certain flying foxes. Who? Owls. <laughs> what is that? Oh, <laughs> I got you. I was like, "There's a joke here. There's a joke here." I, I tried to think of. <laughs> I was, I'm proud of that one. <laughs> That's pretty me. good. That's pretty Classic. good. Classic. <laughs> uh, speaking of bats, and this is only tangentially related, but bats, despite being super specialized, are actually one of the earliest modern mammal families to have evolved. We have bat fossils dating to around 55 million years ago, which is only 10 million years after the dinosaurs died out. <sighs> that still feels like a long time ago. But, like, um, and these were, like, full bats. Like, complete bats. These were, like, proto-bats. Mm -hmm. These were, like, just flat-out bats. You couldn't really tell the difference between them and modern bats. You know, every time you say bats, in, the, in my head I get the... I get the... 
I get the opening of Scooby Doo with all the bats flying uh, everywhere. Oh uh, yeah. That's the weird. That's the association I have with bats for some reason. Every time you I say mean, it. it's a, I I've, I've never got into Scooby Doo. I was I was into it as a kid, but my sister was so scared of stuff. She we didn't yeah. we didn't we didn't well, watch. Wasn't the whole house. point of that show that there are no monsters? The monsters I don't know, it was were always people. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that's true. Uh. But so since these were full bats and they live so close to the age of dinosaurs, that implies that their origin goes back earlier. Like, even earlier. So there is a chance. A teeny tiny chance. Because when the dinosaurs died out, pterosaurs also died out. Mm -hmm. So, but if bats were already completely bats only 10 million years later, that means the evolution to them probably had to go a lot earlier. Which means there is a teeny tiny chance that for a brief moment in Earth's history, birds, bats, and pterosaurs all coexisted. Is that a big deal? Just the fact that three, the three major. We only have one of those now. Yeah, the the three oh, no, major. We have two of those now. We have three major three. flying vertebrates all coexisted. That's kind of cool to think about. Yeah, so. I mean, hope did they get along though? Probably not. <laughs> Bummer. I wonder if they would eat each other. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Also, I'm just realizing there's no way this was around when mammals, like I mean, mammals, humans, or. Or early humans? Do we, is it is it PC to still call them cavemen? <laughs> like, Cavemen's okay. Know. They're way before cavemen. Okay, like cavemen are earliest humans. Um, they were way the, at some point. If you, if you ever this. do a creature that is ever, I don't know if this show goes that early or that late. I, I suppose, uh, but I would love to talk about Homo erectus. Like. Yes. Okay. Ha. The penis episode, of course. Remember I said earlier, if you do a penis episode? Yes. Is that what you're referring to? Homo erectus? <laughs> you know, Homo erectus is one of those creatures that, like, it's, it's, so, it's so cool, but no one cares because of the name. <laughs> but, no, but, like, what is Homo erectus? It's, it's an early, okay, so we're Homo sapiens. Yes. They are, so before us, I think, was there was Homo neanderthalus, which is the neanderthals. And so, it, wait, are cavemen and neanderthal not the same thing? Uh, I mean, they can be. They're like caveman's a general term. It's not oh, like okay. a. It's okay. not like a. It's a. It's an informal know. term. It's okay. not like a. Spe it's not like this is a. Species got it. Got of it. Caveman. It's just yeah. Got it. It's just an informal term. Okay. Because so like yeah, because back in the day there were co cohabiting species of human like early Homo sapiens and Neanderthals did coexist. So, in fact, they did breed together. <laughs> like yeah, there's that, some well, people that, that have sense. Neanderthal DNA in them today. So. That makes sense. Yeah. So. But anyway, if you ever do an episode where there's something like that. Homo erectus right? is the first human to have tools, to use tools, to use fire. Like thumbs? Like, well, not... <laughs> See, this is why no one cares. <laughs> no, I care. No, it's I'm just, wondering. It's just everyone's like, like, oh, they think like, they just think of Homo erectus and not think about all the cool stuff. Oh, I'm thinking about like, are these the first guys who use thumbs? Because that's fascinating. No, no, no. Other creatures use thumbs. I mean, these are the ones, the first ones to use fire. Who are the first ones to use their thumbs? Uh, probably the first one to have thumbs. <laughs> Which is? I don't know. It goes way back. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> like, if it's not related to most, a dinosaur, you're like, whatever. Most primates <laughs> have thumbs. Like, That's I might, true. I wager That's all primates true. have thumbs. Yes, so. of course. So. <laughs> Man, monkeys are cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And it was ye. <laughs> <laughs> e. E, I apologize. I need to be PC about this. So, uh. Actually, that's all I've got about you, so let's rate it one out of 65 million, shall we? I don't know. I feel like it's probably only going to get, like, a 12 from me. Whoa! I thought you'd like this a lot more. I love it, except for it doesn't breathe fire. And considering oh, Game, of not Thrones, fault. Game of Thrones preseason is coming out in the next few months, that's I'm true. to understand. And I'm feeling like fire breathing would make it cooler. I mean, well, so, I mean maybe if, also, it, if it ate some Taco Bell hot sauce, maybe it would. So... Kind of like a mix between a bird and a bat, if you look at this. like It looks like it's a bird in a bat costume. Oh, that's a good way to put it. But I don't like that. So, 12 mil. All right. Well, this might be the greatest difference in scores. I know I've said this several <laughs> times. I'm going to give it like a 60 million. Like, I think this is like one of the coolest dinosaurs okay, ever. Okay, if it existed, but also it can't. I can't ride it. It's true. You can't ride it. So, you could, you, know. you could, like, it could, it could, it could be on your shoulder. But, I, you know, who, like, this is, That's a, true. I don't want to be Khaleesi like a... season two. I want to be Khaleesi season five. Like. You want to drive the track, dragon. Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. 60 million for me. 12. 12 million for you. Also, it doesn't have a pouch, so I can't ride it or ride in it. I mean, if it even had a pouch, you couldn't ride in it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like, much too it's, large. Like, <laughs> 
<laughs> That's it for this week. If you want to get hold of the show, you can contact me at mattsd at mattsdonkareer.com for answer questions to either co-host or any of the co-hosts. <laughs> like my social media is at mattsdonkareer on Facebook at mattsdon64 on Twitter and mattsdon64 on Instagram. What's your social media? So people can berate you about like these. <laughs> Lexi Tate 44 on Instagram. Get at us in the comments if you have any more questions about dinosaur genitalia. <laughs> Would love to have a special erectos homos. <laughs> you had it backwards. It's homo erectus. I knew that. I just want to make sure you were listening. Yes, yeah, a little. Well, if you have questions I about the test. dinosaur genitals, yeah, here we go. This is the place to discuss it. You have the questions. We have. The answers. The, the, the ability to ask the questions We have the well. ability to Google it and find out for ourselves. Yes. Anyways, all right. I have a book series on Amazon Megazoic <laughs> available for print and Kindle. There is a ye in it. He's in, she's in the third book. She has a French accent for some reason. I don't know why I gave that to her. Because um, they're cool. Is she uptight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> she, <laughs> My correlation... <laughs> Sorry to any French listeners out there. We yeah. love France. <laughs> well, the French are like stereotypical jerks, you know. Oh, are they? I don't know. Like, bonjour, monsieur. <laughs> My brother did get beat up by a French boy in Provence when we visited. French so. are very uppity, you know. But damn, do they have some excellent cuisine. They so, do. Like, so. I was... <laughs> I had the funniest thought. I was like, you know, McDonald's is such a, is such a broad company. Surely there's some in France. But, like, imagine... The shame you must feel as a Frenchman when you have all these great options and you choose to go to the McDonald's. That's very true. A hundred percent. Like, there must be McDonald's's in France. But imagine oh, there, there, the there shame like, there are. like that you feel. Like, you don't feel like a true Frenchman if you just go get a Big Mac. Like, That's true. Like, yeah. <laughs> under the Arc de Triomphe. It's yeah. just the arch. Just <laughs> me and my McDonald's. Yeah, the, under but that arch. Bu- bu- bu. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining like a really fancy French McDonald's, you know, because it's different. La, 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 la. <laughs> yeah, that's what <laughs> I would say instead. <laughs> <laughs> but like their ingredients would be like super fancy. Oh, that's great. Anyways, that's it for this week. <laughs> if this is at the end of our episode of Paleo Bites. Visit McDonald's. No, just yeah. If this is at the end of our episode of Paleo Bites. Ooh la, ooh la la. <laughs> oui, oui. Uh, this isn't even French. I just made it French in my book. <laughs> <laughs>